5 Things You Didn't Know About Fit and Cole If you've been following us for a while, you probably already know that we're massive Peaky Blinders fans. With young English actor Finn Cole starring as Michael Gray, the saga of the Shelby family has kept us glued to the screen for five whole seasons. And it looks like the sixth and final season is gearing up to be the perfect ending to the show. As the blinders expand their shady operations to the other side of the Atlantic, more and more viewers wonder where showrunner Stephen Knight will decide to put a final stop to the Tommy Shelby story. Although the show's creator has promised to deliver the goods for a spectacular final season, diehard fans don't have to worry about leaving behind their favorite mobsters. Knight has also announced that a Peaky Blinders movie will be made instead of a seventh season. Not only that, but there is also reason to believe that another series will be produced after that movie. The cast will definitely include Cole, also known for his Joshua J. Cody role in Animal Kingdom, and praised by none other than John Cena for his Jacob Toretto performance in F9. It is rumored that this iteration of Peaky Blinders shall follow the adventures of the younger members of the Shelby family, and few of them are as interesting as Polly Gray's long-lost son, Michael. The evolution of Michael Gray Jr. is one of our favorite parts of the show. In a similar way, we have seen Finn Cole grow as an actor within the show, becoming more confident in his unquestionable acting skills. We wanted to know how this talented young upstart got to where he is. If you're curious too, stay tuned to find out 5 things you probably didn't know about Finn Cole. And remember, you can show us your support by clicking on the like and subscribe buttons. While you're at it, don't forget to hit the bell icon too. That way, you'll get a notification every time we upload a new video. There's more Peaky Blinders facts and curiosities coming soon, and we are sure you don't want to miss them. Number 5. His brother is also a Peaky Blinder For a show so focused on a single family, it's pretty funny to think that Finn is accompanied by a real-life family member on set too. His elder brother Joe is also an actor on the show, he plays none other than his fictional cousin, John Shelby. Maybe Finn has a meteor role, but at least Joe gets to show off the coolest surname in Birmingham. Finn and Joe acting together on the same show is not a coincidence, and neither is it the first time they've shared screen time on a project. In fact, Finn owes Joe his career. It was him who managed to get Finn an audition for what would become his first role. Both Joe and Finn debuted as big screen performers in the same film, Offender. Sure, Joe was the lead character there and Finn played a minor role as Riot Boy, but considering how far Finn has gotten, we'd say it was as good a way to start as any other. Number 4. Peaky Blinders – No Help for Animal Kingdom It would take a while for Finn to get a lead role for himself. Since 2016, Cole has been balancing his work on Peaky Blinders with a bigger role on TNT series Animal Kingdom. The plot goes something like this. After the death of his mother, a 17-year-old boy moves in with his relatives, the Cody's, a family of criminals whose clan is ruled by a powerful matriarch called Smurf. Whereas the British epic crime drama follows the exploits of the Shelby gangster family after the First World War. Despite the obvious similarities between both shows, it turns out that Peaky Blinders didn't help Cole land his first role as the leading actor. When he attended the auditions for Animal Kingdom, it seems the crew were not aware that he was related to the Shelbys. Writer and producer Jonathan Lisko, who decided to cast him, certainly had no clue. But when he watched Finn's tape, he did know that he had found the right one for the part. If he had actually watched Peaky Blinders, Cole might not have needed a tryout at all. Number 3. He had to quit a rough hobby to stay safe Although his film and TV career is only beginning, acting is far from Finn's only interest in life. In plenty of interviews, he has cheerfully admitted that he's got a lot of hobbies and passions beyond his pursuit of stardom. When he was younger, he thought he would make a career in the same discipline as his father, who worked on boats. Naturally, having that goal in mind meant that there was no pressure for his acting career to take off. Before he became Polly's on-screen son, Finn enjoyed water sports and learning about engineering next to his dad. He was also quite adept at sports, back when he was still a student in southwest London. He loved playing rugby, and he wasn't half bad at it either. Now that he's a sought-after actor, he's had to quit playing due to safety concerns. 
Cole misses his rugby days, but getting bruised and battered on the field would only get him cast as a boxer or a hospital patient, and that's not where his hobbies end either. Finn has always grown up around creative people, especially musicians. One of his favorite activities is going to shows to watch his friends play. It's only natural that he'd eventually pick up the guitar himself. Among his influences are such luminaries as B.B. King or Muddy Waters. But he's also a big fan of more recent artists such as Jacob Collier or White Denim. We guess if the acting career doesn't pan out, he will probably make his name as the only guitar shredding, engineering, rugby, and water sports expert on the entire planet. Number 2. He manages the career of other actors at only 25. At only 25, Cole is still very young, but he has a few show business tricks up his sleeve beyond acting. In parallel to his performing career, he has also cultivated his producing skills. Among his most notable work was his 2015 staging of the play Immortal at the Arthur Cotterell Theatre. Producing the stage is much more than a hobby for him. He dedicates as much of his free time as he can to projects where he doesn't necessarily play a part. Obviously, that free time isn't too much given his innumerable passions, but it's still enough for Cole to launch a production company. Along with some of his classmates at Escher College, Finn founded Green Tea Productions a while back where he also manages the career of some up-and-coming actors. It's nice to see Finn is as business-minded in real life as the character he plays in Peaky Blinders. May his finances be all above board. Number 1. Dreaming of Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, and Gary Oldman It can't be easy to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with actors the literal and figurative sides of Killian Murphy and Tom Hardy. Nevertheless, Finn has managed to deliver performances in Peaky Blinders that are just as good as the work of both of those actors with already legendary status. And the acting wasn't even the toughest part. At the end of the third series, Cole had to yell at both colleagues in the same scene. He was only 20 years old. We probably wouldn't have been able to mutter a single word without getting a bad case of the shakes. Though both Tom and Killian are great guys, it must have been a challenge for Finn given that they were both inspirational figures for him since he was a kid. He has confessed that he is still on a high about working with two of his favorite actors. But Cole's influences go far beyond Peaky Blinders Birmingham. He's got sights on the world of Hollywood and he would love to collaborate with the giants of the silver screen like Al Pacino, Robert De Niro and Gary Oldman. He has said that what he most admires in an actor is subtlety, which is why Mark Rylance from Dunkirk is also among his favorite performers. It looks like Cole has learned his acting lessons from the best, so we hope he gets to rise between the ranks just like Michael Gray among the Colbys. Well, that's our video on Polly Gray's son and young Peaky Blinders hopeful, Finn Cole. Feel free to share what you know about the Animal Kingdom and F9 star in the comment section below this video. And remember, if you enjoy what we do, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to our channel to show your support. While you're at it, don't forget to hit the bell icon. You'll get a notification every time we have something new for you. Thanks for watching and see you soon.